In my first video, I talked about you know doing some pre measurements before I mount the filters up and run them, and you know I guess I've really seen many people showing you know measurements with an anemometer uh, on the web. I kind of showed you that I had one and you know kind of how to hold it up to a pipe or whatever, but uh, I figured this may actually be a good opportunity to uh, show you where I'm measuring from my furthest point. Um, it says about 40 feet of pipe and there's all sorts of twists and turns because of the way the lights are set up in here and air conditioning and all that kind of stuff. So um, let me take you over to my furthest run. And I'll show you how I've been measuring my numbers. I think I misinformed you when I said, you know, 800 CFM um, and about 5,000 feet per minute. So um, let me grab this. So if you've seen my other videos, basically back in the back here, um, kind of the pipe goes down, it goes out into the back. And then I have all my ducting running up here. So I come up as a 45 degree, come along and I got to split off here. Um, a, let me show you over here. There's a light in the middle that I have to avoid. And so that's why I kind of have to peel one way or the other, one going down to the table saw joiner. And then the other one kind of peels off, goes over to the drill press. And then another the one keeps coming over. It's got a jog for this light and come over, come down to the miter saw, and then it comes down here. I got just junk everywhere. I've been doing some cleaning, and I have a uh, basically a six inch to four inch, and then it splits off to the drum sander. And then I used to have another tool over here, but this other one's going to be for the um, router table here. But let's look at right here. Let's see if I can put this down on this junky table. Jeez. Uh, point right here. All right, so this is my furthest connection. Like I said, it's about 40 feet of pipe. And I mean, if we're going to count you know, connections, 22 and a half, 45, 245 is 90. Another 45, 45, a couple 22s, 45, 45, 45, 45. So there's a bunch of twists and turns. I've tried to make it as gentle as possible. Um, this that's in here really just kind of friction fit. And when it's on, it will doesn't leak much at all. Let me pull this out. So what I have is this. In a moment, or I said I got it on Amazon, and it'll measure the uh, feet per minute and it'll do cubic feet per minute. So if I turn it on, the default mode is the, for the velocity. Um, on the bottom right now, it's set up for meters per second. And what I can do is I can change the unit to feet per minute, and that's typically what you see for velocity on um, dust collectors. Like I said in the other video, I typically like to take my measure and just get it over. I don't want to cover it. I want to just get it enough here that it will, you know, run the veins but not cause any any just um, you know uh, blockage. And this thing can run in two directions, so I can blow it this way and get a reading or it can read the other way but for this so you guys can see it I'm gonna run it in this uh, setup so we'll cut on the dust collector here um, all my other blast gates are closed and I'm gonna try to see if we can watch this at the same time so here we go Uh, let me set this to max. I 
and we'll run it again here and see what it says. So the bass is just reading velocity. So the max I measured is 5860, so almost 6,000 feet a minute. Um, which I think is pretty good. It should keep all my ducks are clean. I got some end caps that I can look in, and there's never anything sitting there. Um, the other function that's nice that this has is it'll measure obviously uh, CFM. So if I get out of this, I think I turn it off, and turn it back on. All right, turn it off, turn it back on. So we're at velocity. All right, now we're putting in the area. So what we're going to do is put in the cross section of this six inch pipe. And going back to middle school math, and this does it in either square meters or square feet. So I did not try to convert to metric system. But what we're going to do is change this to what the six inch cross section is. It's point feet squared and have that set. Alright, so what I can do now is hit function. So now we're on flow and it's cubic meters per second. We're going to go cubic meters per minute and we're going to go cubic feet per minute now. So we'll set this to max and let's see what it does. CFM, um, which is great, especially with this drum center I have over here. Um, so basically, what we can do is just take these numbers. You know, this is the furthest away, most turns and pipe, so the most should be the most restricted of all my runs. Um, and we will use those first two measurements, the 5800-ish and the 1100-ish, 5800 for velocity and say 1100 for CFM and after putting the filters on we'll do a comparison so that is how I'm measuring and um, hopefully I won't lose much at all